how you was programmed by your colonial masters, by your Jewish, by your Christian, and by your Muslim colonial masters. So we're talking about those 26 letters, right? We're talking about the numbers from 1 to 26, right? And if you pay attention to the way that I arrange these first 19 alphabets, right? From A, right? All the way to 19. Then we separated the last seven alphabets. And we demonstrated how you could reverse, right, the alphabet by taking the numbers and placing them backwards, right? 26 would be the 1, 25, right there. 26, which is a Z, would be the 1. Y would be a 2. X would be the 3. W would be the 4 right? V would be the five, right? And U would be the six and seven would be the T. So we have 19 above seven, right? And we're talking about that 197, that 19 over Seven. Remember, in this book here, the 114 chapters, the Holy Quran, right? It said over it is 19. If we take the letters from 197, which is the 19 here over the seven, in simple English mantra, it adds up to 260. The zero is a space marker. That's the 26. So how you was programmed was through the filter, right? Through the net that was able to capture your intelligence, capture your creativity in your logical thinking and placing a filter there so it won't manifest. Thus making you blind, deaf, and dumb to the fact that you have been given an incomplete education under these 66 books. So let's get it in. We're talking about supreme wisdom that adds up to 180, giving us a what? Incomplete circle. We're talking about your colonial masters, Christian, Muslims, and Jews. And under the 114 chapters, you still we're not able to rise above your limitation of your incomplete edited dictation, not an education. We're talking about how you've been tricked, led astray, bamboozled, and ran amok by the idea that the 66 books of the Holy Bible or the 114 chapters of the Holy Quran was a complete knowledge of self. In fact, it's not a complete knowledge of self. Again, the 19 letters here above the last seven. One, nine, seven. 197, again, add up to 26, right? We're talking about those 66 books of the Bible, those 26 books, right? or those 26 alphabets that's contained within those 66 books, right? And the 114 chapters. So now let's get it in. On the other video, you notice that I singled out here. The way I got these letters aligned, A is above the what? K. A is 1 and K is 11. So let's go. If we look at the 1, the A, the 11, and the K, there are three segments in the letter A. There are three segments in the letter K. 1, 2,
two, three. One, two, three. Three plus three is six. The King James Version was published in the year 1611, right? We have the three and three, which is the six, and the 11, 1611, right? And if we multiply six times, right, 111, we get the number Six, 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 because one plus one plus four equals six. This is the information that's hidden right in plain sight. We're talking about that program. We're talking about that Fisher's net. We're talking about that blockage, that limitation that's on the Bible, and the Holy Quran. We're talking about 66 plus 114 adds up to 180, giving us the actual fact that we've been tricked, we've been had, right? We've been made to believe that we have a complete knowledge. Again, we're talking about those 26 letters arranged in different sentences and different paragraphs and different chapters within the 66 books and the 114 books of the Quran. So again, let's get it in. If we take the simple English gematria for Quran, right, and reduce it, it adds up to 26, right? And if we do it in reverse, it adds up to 28. Again, those first seven years, if we take the numbers from one to seven, one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven adds up to 28. Again, we're talking about the information that's hidden right in plain sight. Those first seven years, those hypnosis years, those years when your mind was like a sponge and you absorb everything that you were taught, whether it was